The main hospital in Gaza no longer treats regular patients. It is now devoted entirely to the victims of the Israeli bombing campaign, like nine-year-old Mariam al-Masri. Barricaded indoors for days of bombings, she convinced her father to let her out for a breath of fresh air. After five minutes, she followed him back inside, just steps ahead of an airstrike. I sent her back in the corridor when I was locking up the house. I looked behind me and I saw Mariam sinking in a pool of blood with shrapnel in her head. Sausan Abu Kumsan was taking care of disabled children when the building exploded in flames. In the morning I found myself burning. I didn't hear an explosion, but suddenly I was on fire. My body, my face, my hair, everything was burning. This is a crime committed by the Israelis. What crime did these handicapped children commit? They're not even able to fire rockets or even walk outside. The hospital is fully occupied, and yet hour after hour, the ambulances bring more victims. Here in the reception area of Shifa Hospital, they're not turning away any bombing patients. The people who are no longer receiving treatment are people with chronic problems, things like heart disease. If you have cancer, you are no longer ill enough to be treated in this hospital. So doctors say there will likely be deaths that seem unrelated to this conflict that will be caused by it. The hospital is short of disposable equipment, fuel for generators, even medicine. Dr. Eric Fossa flew from Norway, bringing what he could. We are facing a huge humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza. We have had medicine in this hospital to do the cases that we have at the moment. But uh, if we get uh, something like uh, 2009 war with the large mass, mass casualties, we will run out of, uh, of drugs. Maryam al Masri can no longer speak. Her left arm and leg are paralyzed. Her father is just happy his daughter is still with him. When she entered surgery, the doctors weren't very optimistic. They said, you should pray to God to save her. I pray to God. God help me to cure her. And thank God she's better now. Better than she was, better than many others are, still trying to return to where she once was, in a territory struggling to do the same. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Gaza.